your complete intaminator looks like this. And this will sit down on top of your damper rod, spring goes on top of it. So what happens was the fluid comes through here, through these ports right here, and acts upon those shims, these little, sh this little shim stack, much like a conventional style shock. That's happening when you're on the brakes, right? Chassis input. So that's going to correct your brake dive, right? It's gonna force it through that shim stack. But when you hit a bump, you hear that valve fire. It's gonna open up the secondary circuit in there. So this is, this is the stem that goes through here. You can see that there's a port through here and it exits here, right? So when this inertia valve fires down, those ports are exposed. That's your secondary circuit. So there it is right there. So it comes through this hole right here. Correct. This is on a hard bump where your forks are compressing. Right. The valve opens up and, in, and the fluid goes through this hole. Allowing, so very quickly, allowing all the net, yeah, all the normal damping to take place. Right. Right. And then it returns and it closes mm -hmm. so that if you're on your brakes heavy, you're G'ing out or you're entering or exiting a corner where that bike is compressing down on those wheels, it's forcing it through that shim stack and controlling that compression, not just diving out. 